This is my Minecraft review. The first thing I want to talk about with Minecraft is involving the graphics. As you can see, the graphics in this game aren't as good as most of all the other games out right now. This is very pixelized and blocky. Everything is in blocks. And um, so it's not it's not what you would expect from a game of its time, like a Call of Duty game, which is very real looking. This is just more blocky and looks like it was created a long time ago. Um, as you can see, the animals don't look real either. They're also blocky. Um, their eyes are squares. Their ears are pink squares. They're not real looking at all. Um, I don't think the graphics were meant to look good. I, I obviously think they were meant to be blocky and stuff like that, so I don't really mind them. But it's just something that kind of deters people from the game, I think, when they see the pixelized um, blocky graphics. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is gameplay. It's very easy to maneuver in the game. You just use your cursor and then the arrows. Um, as you can see, I just open the door. That's pretty easy. There's just command keys that you can use to do so. Um, there are no missions or guidelines in the game. It's all whatever you want to do. You get to build what you want, live how you want, eat what you want. You don't you don't have to follow any rules or anything like that. Um, it's it's tough at, at the beginning of the game when you don't really know how to do anything, like create anything. But as you go on, you learn and you can ask your friends how to play, or you can. Um, ask the internet how to do things and stuff like that so if you don't if you can't figure it out there's ways of figuring it out but it's also fun to try to figure it out yourself um, like right here I have I have a furnace and a box and then a chest to keep all my stuff in um, so the gameplay is I like because you get to do what you want you don't you don't have to follow any rules and stuff which is cool um, so I'd give that a rating of probably a 8 out of 10. Um, the actual cost of the game to purchase it is $26.95, which is fairly cheap compared to other games that you'd buy for maybe an Xbox that are like $60 for a brand new game. Um, and this one, you just download it to your computer or console, so it's there forever unless it gets deleted. Um... So, it also, it also um, the game comes out with updates, so it's always improving and getting better, and those don't cost any money, so you don't have to worry about that, the updates getting charged to your account or anything. Um, the, also, the thing I like about it is um, you can always come back to it, and you won't be, like, lost or anything. You can just start right where you left off. You can try to build another house you can expand on something um, so that's that's another cool thing about the game um, the modes of the game um, there's uh, four modes there's creative survival hardcore and adventure mode um, creative mode is um, where you're you're given the ability to fly in unlimited resources and you also um, you can't die in this in this mode um, so you can build anything you want with you don't have to go mining for anything or anything like that you can just go and off and build anything because you get unlimited resources um, um, this game you can all in this mode you can also maneuver a lot quickly more quickly because you can destroy blocks um, a lot faster. I'm in um, adventure mode right now and it takes me that long which may not seem long to you but in creative mode it'll go away in about two whacks so 
Um, the next mode is survival mode, which is actually what I'm in. I'm not in adventure mode, sorry. I'm in survival mode, which is the most common mode. Um, you can die in this in um, survival mode from zombies and other um, creatures in the game. And you can also die from starvation. You need to eat. And like this, spiders are attacking me right now. That's a perfect example. So I'm going to try to kill them with my sword. Um, so that's like a perfect example for survival mode right there. Um, you can die and, by creatures and stuff like that. Um, and you do not have unlimited resources. You have to find your resources and make them and stuff like that. Um, so it's a little more difficult than the creative mode. Um, the other mode is, um, adventure mode, and that's still like a work in progress, they're still working on it, um, it has multiple different things, but it's basically like survival mode, only it's a little bit harder, and then, um, hardcore mode is the last mode, and, it's um it's the same as survival mode as well only it's extremely hard um it's a lot harder yeah, every time you die if so if i would have died by those spiders my whole house right here would have been gone everything you create in the world um goes away when you die so in survival mode if i die my house is still here cuz it's safe but in hardcore mode it would all be gone so i'd have to start from scratch which would be a hassle so you would not want to die um, so yeah, that's basically my main points about Minecraft, um, the gameplay, um, the cost of the game, the graphics, and the modes, um, are uh, what, all I, what I think are all most important in making this game what it is, and I think Minecraft's a good game, even although the graphics are bad, which might put a dent in it, um, I think it's a really fun game that uses your creativity and stuff like that so I'd give it a 4 out of 5 4.5 out of 5 rating um, because it basically gives you the free freedom to do what you want to do in the game there's no guideline and stuff which I like so yep 4 out of 5 4.5 out of 5 for Minecraft <laughs>